Um, this is going to be a different type of video for me. I've never really done one of these reaction rant bitching about something. I've never done it, so bear with me. And you're probably going to hear a cat cry from time to time. But we're going to talk about the new Batman, uh, Hot Toys, Batman 89. Um, it's Everybody's calling it a 2.0 from the DX09. And uh, as you can see by the pitches, it comes with all the same accessories from the DX09 over 12 years ago. I have all these accessories. I have everything here except for the gargoyle, which is badass, and I want it. And an articulated body, and, you know, it is a badass. So we're going to get right into the rest of these photos. Like I said, bear with me. I've never done one of these videos before. I mean, look at that shit, dude. That is beautiful. Look at the gargoyle. Like, yeah, it's 2024. So, I want to see new things like this. Even the cape looks good here. I mean, Hot Toys has phenomenal photographers, as you can see. I mean, this cathedral gargoyle diorama I mean look at it it's beautiful Re recreating um, the end of the movie scenes they had to pimp this out make it stand there next to the Batmobile you get the battle damage version the mouthpiece but you don't have the battle damage faceplate back to the gargoyle see I've never done this these are going too fast for me and I'm sorry guys but there's all the mouth plates they look great those are all tools that you get with the DX09. Same thing, same weapons. Everything. Right down to the stop. Shields. Open. Shields. Shields closed. Shields. Whatever the fuck he says. But the suit has this on it. Flex seal. To fix your gutters. I've actually used this stuff. But it looks like they sprayed the fucking suit with this shit. Or dipped it in with this shit. Symbiote fucking Spider-Man. Black. I mean, look at it. It's too textured. In my opinion, it's too fucking textured. But look at the pictures you can get. I snagged these off of Sideshow Freaks. I still call it that. Collector Freaks. The Collector Freaks. I mean, look at these photos. Excellent photos. I mean, the figure is a new figure. But you know what? If you're an 89 fan, you just gotta suck it up and be like, oh, okay. They did a texture suit, but look, I can make a pose and hold a pose. And I mean, look at all the mouth plates. The natural one, that one, is the only one that I will use. Beautiful pitches. And if that's the stock cape, which I don't think so. So I threw in some pictures of the actual 89 Batman. I mean, look at the suit, it's smooth. It's very smooth. You can touch it. It's so smooth. It has no bumpy symbiote stuff. It's very nice. They make this back in 1988. Released the movie in 1989. Bada boom, bada bang. Fucking history. This is my childhood. This is my Batman. I love the Nolan verse. And I did enjoy the Batman movie. But they should have gave us a suit like that. All battle damage, like an alternate chest piece or something. You, how are you going to give us the interchangeable faceplate with the battle damage, but not the battle damage chest piece? But these are my photos of the DX09 right here. See how the suit is? It's nice and smooth. Look at all the same weapons. All the same accessories. I do have a Tony Mace uh, custom cape, drape cape. And Dean Knight said, you know, the cape makes the figure, and it really does. If you have a shitty cape, your figure's gonna look like shit. But I took these pictures actually last night. First time I changed the pose with my DX09 in over 12 years, and I'm happy with it. Do I need this new figure? No, I don't need it. Do I want it though? Of course I want it. It's 89 Batman. And, uh, it's articulated, and that damn diorama piece is the icing on the cake even though it's actually the cake right there but I do want it and I think I'm gonna try to get it like I said I took these photos last night and 
I've never changed out the mouthpiece because I think it's stuck in there. I'm not going to break anything. I'm not going to get any paint chips. Uh, but yeah, the, the DX09 is dated. Dated doesn't mean it's obsolete or it's bad. It's just the older figure. You're going to want to upgrade. You want to have a posable figure. But I mean, look at this. I can literally, I can get past the suit being different. Honestly, like, these are just my thoughts. And like I said, I'm, I apologize if the video is kind of shitty. I've never done one of these before in my 14-year career on YouTube. Probably even longer. I think, yeah, it's got to be longer. 2008, I've been on YouTube. So, alright, I'm going to end up getting this figure. So, I'll see you guys when I make a video on the figure or not uh, unboxing a review a rant and there you go very nice nice uh, i bumbled that matter fox i'm still here matter fox so fuck you kidding all right guys peace